I'm going to make. It's also on some special request, in fact I received this request third time in a row, so, today I get my time to make this for you all. In fact I prefer to everyone watch this story and get a life lesson. Nowadays, many people in the shape of sheep, but actually they are a wolf. Showing their self our most closest and loving friends. But in actual, they are our worst enemies. In this story you will see what happened, come let's watch together what is this story all about. Sebastian, at this time. You come here is everything alright? Richard, I came here to meet you. But you went with Leo, where is Leo now? Leave him I don't want to discuss him. I came here to meet you only. Okay okay. Relax Sebastian. Tell me, what happened? Can you meet with me tomorrow at Yellow Cafe? But tell me what is the matter, why you wants to meet me there, whatever the matter is you can tell me here now? Please don't start your investigation with me right now, meet me tomorrow please. And don't discuss about this meeting with anyone. I wants to talk with you on urgent basis. Okay okay sure why not. Okay now I'm going take care bye. Okay take care bye. Sebastian, where you was gone? I was waiting for you. I'm sorry dude, I was on call with my family. Okay okay no problem. So, I was telling you about Emily and our marriage plan. Oh yes yes, carry on with that please. So I was telling you. Daddy was saying, they are going to arrange a big function on my wedding. And yes mama also said she has ordered 5 expensive dresses for my bride to be. Wow man wow that's great in fact. Then. We must be all set and be ready for a big grand wedding of my childhood friend Leo. Do you know why I'm so much excited Sebastian? Why Leo? Because I am the only one in my whole family, who is going to be married by the one whom I love. You know Sebastian, it's a love marriage of mine. Because mostly in my family and relatives all are having only arranged marriages. But just look at my daddy. He didn't said no to me. When I told my daddy about Emily, and I told him that I wanted to marry her. On the very next day daddy and mama went to her house for my wedding proposal. Yes dude you are such a lucky person then. Not everyone have an understanding family like yours. You are blessed man. Yes of course I called myself a lucky man. Thanks to God. Yes you are, well let's move now Leo. It's already very late at night. I will meet you tomorrow in university. Okay dude sure why not. Leo. Do you know this is a very easy cake? No man no. Just wait and watch. I will not let you marry with Emily. I still remember how she insulted me when I proposed her few years back. I still can't forget your words Emily. You said to me. Sebastian just look at yourself. How you even think that? I can marry you and be with you. You are not my type of person. Then everyone laughed so hard at me. Oh, what an insult that was. Horrible. And just look at this Leo and his fate, he knows this well, that I liked Emily. She is my love. And how he show off in front of me every time. But Mr. Leo don't worry, I'm also your father. Emily ruined my happiness then how it is possible. I'll let you both to get married and let live your life with peace and harmony. No never ever. This is not gonna happen at all. Now just wait and watch. Leo is still outside, he didn't come home yet. No mama nowadays, he is love in the air. In next few days, he is going to marry. And then her wife will set some rules for him, that's why nowadays he is enjoying the time with his friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly, you are saying that right. After the marriage, his routine will come at the right proper path. In bachelor's life he can do anything. But after marriage he will have to follow some rules and regulations designed by her wife. Yes exactly mama you are right. Let him enjoy the perks of being single for a few more days. Emily, do you know my love? How I am passing these days. I'm so much excited for our wedding. Can't wait for that day. I'm also counting on the days of my marriage. Now I want, we become the official husband and wife to each other Leo. Do you know my all friends are very excited especially Sebastian. He was telling me. He has ordered a new suit for our wedding day. And he have so many plans. Okay that is good. What happened Emily? 
Why you reacted so odd? I'm sorry to say this, but Leo I don't know why I feel your friend Sebastian is jealous from us. Due to his eyes because when I saw him at university, he is rolling his eyes and he start taking deep breath every time in front of me. Maybe he still remember this, when I rejected his proposal. I think, he is not happy with our wedding and I feel so scared from him. And his gaze he put on us, when we are together. <laughs> Why you are laughing? What's so funny in that Leo? Emily, he is so chill kind of person. And very outspoken. He didn't hide anything from me. Even he forgot this all and didn't bother that we are getting married with each other. Maybe you are unaware of his excitement for our wedding. Please you should be relaxed and calm now about him at least. Yes. He is your friend and you know him better than me. Yes, why you called me here Sebastian? Richard I wanted to talk with you about something. Yes sure why not. Tell me then. Richard, you know my nature I am very outspoken kind of man. Richard, I always like to talk on merit always. Many people don't like me, just because of my this nature. Because, you know, truth is always bitter and I used to speak truth only. Yes, please come to the point now. What he wants to say to me then? Richard, I wish you will not lose my trust upon you. Because before meeting with Leo, we were friends Richard, in the school, high school and college as well. Whole life we've spent together. Your brother Leo is my friend just due to you. Because Leo was our junior. And we both in the same class. Yes you are saying right Sebastian. Richard, from the starting your parents always treats Leo with unpriority. Your parents are same as of your younger brother. But why there is a huge difference in between you and Leo? Oh no no it's not like that at all. Our parents always treat us both the same. We both brothers are on priority of our parents. Seriously Richard seriously hats off to you then. I feel you are blind. You have eyes, but you don't want to see. You have ears but don't want to listen. And last but not the least. You have mind but. You don't want to use it in the right way. Well I have no words now. Sebastian, what is the matter with you man? How I can listen to you man? You are making me against to my own brother and parents as well. And it's not right. This is the reason. Until now you are just an unsuccessful person. And I bet you. You will die as an unsuccessful man. You don't want to change your condition. You live in the fantasy world. And have no sense to move on and improve your life. You just want to be a normal man, a servant to your family. Then it's okay. I'm going now, I have no issue at all. I came here, because I can't see you like this anymore. Well, well, I think, it's of no use to waste my words on you man. Better, I should leave from here now. Bye. Kindly tell me openly, what you wanted to say. Don't say riddles please. I don't need this now. You think you are very smart enough. Only wait for the time. Then your parents will be passed away from this world. Then I will come to meet you on a footpath. Or maybe on some beggar's place. Because you deserve this man. What do you mean by this? Do you have any idea what you are saying to me Sebastian? I still remember. You always cried for Ava. You wanted to marry her. But don't you remember your daddy's words to you? Richard if you wanted to marry Ava then my door is closed for you for forever. And ever you forget this? But I don't forget those harsh words of your father. But for Leo Law is different. In our college time you've asked to your mother for a new motorbike. And she said to you, no not now Richard. We don't have money. But Leo come to university on a car. Even this shirt you are just wearing right now this one is also of Leo. What is your status in your own home? A watchman? A guard? A servant? A cleaner or what? But everything belongs to their loving Leo. You are doing a job. Where your all salary is gone. Your father's business income. Where it's all gone every month. You are so odd man and empty minded person. Don't you remember our Miss Green's words for you? Richard you are so innocent person. You forget this all, but not me. Sebastian, but Ava refused my proposal. Not my parents. Don't make drama in front of me. Her parents refused it. 
because of your father's pressure. They know him so well. He is a big businessman and maybe he can do something wrong with us. Due to the fear of your father they refused this proposal. Sebastian, now what do you want from me? Why are you repeating the past in front of me now? It has been many years. Now why you are raking my old wounds man? Raise your voice for the justice, for your rights man. There should be the same rules for you. Then it should be same rule for your younger brother Leo as well. What should I do now for this? Stop this marriage of Leo, take a strong stand against this marriage. Maybe you are not aware, but I'm fully aware about her background. There are so damn clever and mastermind people. Oh no no it's impossible Sebastian, nowadays we are doing preparations of the marriage. And I can't do this with my own brother. No man no. Note this time and date, exact after one month of his marriage. You will be sitting here and crying here in front of me. Leo and his wife will kick you out from your own house. Sebastian, seriously this is very difficult for me. Then start searching for a place for yourself, because after your parents demise, Emily and Leo will kick you out from your own house and from all the business. And maybe they'll have some pity on you, and will hire you as their driver. You are my bestest friend. That's why I'm saying this all to you. In this world, it's very difficult to find a true and sincere friend just like me Richard. Here, I'm only thinking about you man and about your future. Because, you have no brain. You are not clever like others. You will not lose my trust, I only doing this for you. When you go to bed tonight, kindly think about my words. Sebastian, today we have so many things to do. First we've to go for the chef, because daddy said, we must arrange the bestest chef for my wedding feast meal. All the dishes should be the best. Yes why not dude? I am always available for you. Do you know we are going for the high hills on our honeymoon? Because Emily said, she liked that place very much. Yes, this is the best place for you. And I have lots of gifts for you both. But it's a surprise dude. Sure sure why not Sebastian? We reached man. Don't worry sir, you're all guests will enjoy the food, we serve the best festive meals. Don't worry. We'll try to make them according to your taste sir. Thank you so much. Okay let's go Leo. Perfect man. This is the best for Emily. Thank you so much. Richard all arrangements are completed yet or not? Which arrangement you are talking about daddy? I'm talking about your brother's wedding. Leo's wedding. I will not let Leo to be married to this girl Emily. You and mama keep this thing into your mind. What do you mean by this? Are you in your senses? What happened with you all of a sudden? You was really happy. Now why you are saying like this? What's so wrong now Richard? I said I will not let Leo to be married with Emily. That's it. Richard, do you even know what you are saying to your father? Yes, I know what I'm saying to you. Keep this into your mind please. Otherwise. Otherwise what? Are you drunk? You are talking with whom? I already told you. And this is final. That's it. Richard, just look at yourself. You looked so fresh and chill. I only want to see this happiness on your face. Well, what is the update now? Thank you so much man, Leo didn't discuss it with you yet. I've created a big big mess in our house. In fact yesterday, I had a little argument with him. But I stayed firm at my opinion. And I also said I will not let you do this marriage at any cost. You've done a great job Richard, man you should learn to raise voice for your own rights. Exactly you are saying right Sebastian. Thanks for awakening me up. Very good. I don't know what happened with Richard. Why he is doing this with us. Mama I'm also really very worried. Why and how? 
like all of a sudden what has happened with him. What is the issue of him with Emily? He said to me, Mama if Leah wants to marry, he can marry with any other girl. But not with Emily. She is not the right choice of him. Mama, what should I do now? He is my brother and on the other hand she is my love. I'm so confused in between both. My dear son, Emily is a very loving and caring girl. And I don't want we lose this proposal. Then you tell me what should I do now mama? The day she'll get to know these things. Emily didn't stop for crying. She is a very sensitive girl, you know her nature mama. Let me talk with your daddy. We have to think something about it. This is not right at all. Okay mama. Well I'm going to meet with my friend. I know when he will know this all thing. He will become so depressed and start shouting on Richard because he was so excited for my marriage. Leo, if you say I will talk with Richard, who is he to stop you from this marriage? Your parents are alive, and they know what is good or bad for you. No Sebastian please no. Don't misbehave with him. He is my elder brother. And this is our personal family matter. He is elder your brother, it doesn't mean he can ruin your happiness. How dare he is. How he can do this much bad with you Leo. Well, you please be relaxed man. Mama will talk with daddy. Okay okay I just don't want he ruined your happiness that's it. Mama, I don't know what happened with them all of a sudden. I don't know why Richard is doing this. Emily, you don't worry my daughter. Everything will be fine soon. Because now... I handed over this matter to my god. Miner says, something is very wrong. And we are unaware from it. Maybe there are some hidden enemy or power. Who compelled Richard to ruin this happiness? But, remember. My dear daughter, Emily. God is watching everything from above. He knows well, which is open and also, which is hidden from a human's sight. God will help us all in this matter, don't you worry. Just pray to God on the name of Jesus Christ. I love him a lot. I don't know mama what is going now. And yes I always pray to my God for the good happy days mama with my love Leo. I want to live a peaceful life with him. By the grace of good God. Amen. Don't worry please. Soon everything will be fine. Well, you don't worry Grace. Let me think about it. It's really strange Richard is not like that at all. There is something behind the stage. And we have to figure that out. Yes, please do something. I'm doing my prayers too. Lord, I pray your emotional, physical, and spiritual protection over my son. Keep evil far from him, and help him to trust you as his refuge and strength. I pray you will guard his mind from harmful instruction, and grant him discernment to recognize truth. Amen. What should I do? Richard is a very mature man, what happened all of a sudden with him? What I feel? Someone pumped him against his brother and parents. But how, and who? I have to know the truth. Who did this bad with my family? And try to split it up. I'll not spare that person. Psalms 55, 9 Confuse my enemies, O Lord, divide their tongues, destroying their schemes, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Where are you going Leo? Daddy I'm going to meet with Sebastian, he is not picking my call daddy. Maybe he is not feeling well. I'm calling him from last night. Okay okay my son. Take care bye. Okay take care bye. I don't know why Richard is not picking my call. And this insane guy Leo calling me again and again. Just to meet Richard, I'm going there. I wish Leo will not be at his home. I want to meet my actual target only. I'm not interested to see Leo's face. Hello uncle where's Leo? I came here to meet him. Sebastian, he went to your home. Because he was telling me. He is calling you from last night, Leo just went to your house. Oh no. Actually I've lost it my phone yesterday's night uncle. I will buy a new phone today. I think you are alone at your house? Yes Richard and his mother went somewhere, and Leo went to your house. 
Okay, Uncle, take care, bye. Okay, take care, bye. I feel this guy is lying with me just now about his phone. Because from his pocket his phone can be clearly seen, well I should try his number from my second sim. And that is my personal number. Yes this is his number. Let me dial this now. Oh no he is behind me, what a blunder I've just done right now. Okay uncle bye. Okay bye. He is the main culprit. And he don't come here to meet Leo. He came here for Richard. His body language and gestures telling me that. He was lying with me. But, Sebastian is a friend of my both sons. Why he is doing this all? What are his interest in doing this all? Oh Lord, please help me to find out the truth. Show me the right way to find the truth on the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I was just passing from, so I thought why I should not meet with my son Sebastian. You did a great job, Uncle. Well, Uncle, please come inside. Sebastian, do you know I am so happy? Why, Uncle, what happened? Richard did a great job. I also don't want this marriage. From the day when I tried a lot to stop Leo, but after all his own brother gets seated in this. Yes, Uncle, Richard is a very mature person, and he understands everything well. Yes, Richard was telling me he met you, you also guided him to stop Leo because I know you are a very sincere friend of Leo and Richard as well. Also with my family, and Emily's family doesn't suit to us and match to our standard. No uncle I didn't met with Richard. In fact I met with him three months ago on Leo's birthday. But I don't know why he was telling me this. Wait let me call him in front of you. Why he is lying with me then? Oh yes uncle I remembered. Yes we met in the cafe like by a coincidence. Yes that's why. I'm saying my son is not lying with me. And you also guided him about Leo and his marriage, isn't it, Sebastian? Yes, Uncle. Actually, Emily's family is very clever and materialistic. I just guided him a little bit about it. Because, I know them for many years. Yes, I know you care about us all a lot. Thank you, my dear. Richard is so insane person. He disclosed my name in front of his father. Insane Richard. I told him not to do this. But he tell to his father. What should I do now? Grace problem is solved. I caught the thief. The person who was behind all this mess. Who was that? It's Sebastian. He pumped Richard against his own brother. Oh my god. Why he did this Nestor? Jealousy is a great curse. Grace. Daddy, I'm really sorry. I understand everything now. He pumped me with a pre-planned agenda against my own brother. I'm really sorry for my behavior, Daddy. Don't worry, my son. I love you the same like before. I already give all proofs to you and Leo. I hope you will learn from this lesson. If anyone again try to mislead you, so against your parents and family, give them a shut-up call on the spot, my son. Not every friend is reliable and sincere with you. Don't be so close and open to friends. There are some hidden enemies, in the face of a friend. Leo, just look your close friend becomes your enemy. And you make against me your own brother. Please don't ever discuss your marriage plans with outsiders. Jealousy is a curse my son. Nowadays people can't bear this if anyone stay and live happy. Evil eye and jealousy is for real. So be careful next time. Don't tell your personal matters, future planes with anyone, except your own family. Mama this is also my mistake, I should not discuss my marriage's plans with any of my friend. You are saying it right, we don't know what is going in others mind and heart. Mom just look how nonsense person he is. He wants to take revenge from my future wife Emily. And he called himself as my best friend. Leo, I handed over Sebastian's matter to my god. And soon he will get his lesson, I really feel ashamed, how he spent a long time with you. And stabs into your back. Yes mama you are right.
I love you, Emily. I love you too, Leo. The end. I hope you like my work and get a good lesson for your future life ahead. Don't trust on anyone. Keep your plans in between you and God only. May God bless you all. Amen. Take care. Love you. See you tomorrow with new topic. Bye.